What is up YouTube? Ruben here and today I'm going to show you guys the Dell Chromebook 3100 2-in-1. Now, just to warn you guys, uh, I do not own the Chromebook. My brother actually owns it and he uses it for, you know who, schoolwork. So, let's get this started. So, if you remember the video of the Dell Chromebook 11 3189, it looks actually similar to what I had except now as a newer Dell logo instead of the old one. And it does not use the PA10, PA12 jack as you may be able to tell by this right here. It actually uses USB type C. So yeah, it uses USB 3.1 type C as opposed to the PA10, PA12 adapter. So, yeah. Well, let's get this started. So, on the left, and because it's black, I'm gonna turn the flashlight on. So, on the left, we have the volume buttons. That should be volume down, that should be volume up. USB 3.0 port. And then your USB type C port. This is also the charging port. And this is going to be your recovery button right there. So yeah. Nothing on the back as usual these days. And then on the right we have the power button. The power indicator. We should also access the battery I think. And then you got another USB 3. Point, well USB type C port a USB 3.1 type C port another charging port so yes this computer has two charging ports which is a strange thing to see because uh, usually you will see one charging port this one is very special because this one has two charging ports that run over USB type C so this is interchangeable. Then you have one USB 3.0 port, a micro SD card reader, and a headphone jack. Well, I should have probably set the phone to airplane mode. Let me go and do that real quick. Okay, so on the top we got the Dell logo and then the Chrome logo and the designation. And of course, that's nothing super special because there's something private in there that I'm not going to show you for obvious reasons. Now let's open up the Chromebook. Let me go and turn off the flashlight. Then inside we got the camera and the microphone. And here we got the, here we got the 11 inch, well 11.6 inch screen. And it is a glossy screen, so you, you can barely see me. Hello. And then, on the keyboard, there is something I do not like about this. Right on the palm rest, near the keyboard, there's another camera. And, not only that, we also have another microphone. This should also be your main microphone. If you actually want to set dual microphones on this system. Now I do not like the way how they placed the camera on the palm rest. I do, that's a bad idea to see this happen. Because uh, why do you even need a camera and a camera light on the palm rest? So that's a, that's a dumb idea to put that I would I would rather see the camera and the light on the screen and I could see the microphone uh, on the palm rest because of course that's nothing super special it's self explanatory but I wish uh, they didn't put it here if it's a two in one then yeah that's a bad idea and then also on the palm rest we got the usual keyboard as you would expect and then the touchpad. 
Now let's get to the bottom. So, on the bottom, nothing super special. Here's the model and the designation. The Chromebook 3100 2-in-1. You can look it up uh, for yourself. And all the necessary stuff that is self-explanatory, so... Yeah. Let's open it up again. And let me go and turn the flashlight off. So now let's get to the specs. So this one has a 1.1 gigahertz Intel Celeron N4020 that can boost up to 2.8 gigahertz. This one has 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Yes, this one has DDR4 RAM and it has a 32 gigabyte eMMC SSD. So now it increases from the 16 gigabytes that we had. So yeah, and it also has Chrome OS, well it's running Chrome OS 94 as I'm making this video. So, yeah, Let's, and it's, it's 64 bit of course because of course it has 8 gigs of RAM and it needs to run 64 bit. Now let's go ahead and dim the screen like this and of course because it's my brother's PC or the Chromebook router. It's owned by the Destrict, as you may be able to tell by the logo. And of course, it's of course it's not mine. It's my brother's. So now let's go into Chrome System. I can do this uh, one-handed. Now, for the CPU, again, Intel Celeron N4020 running at 1.1 gigahertz, going up to 2.8 for boost. As you can see, it's running at 2753.945 megahertz. So, yeah. Now the hard drive, located at, I think it was disk usage. As you can see, uh, there's not much space, but actually there's a better way to do this. Let's go to the Files app. And as you can see, it has 17 gigabytes free now like I said it's a 32 gigabyte SSD it's eMMC so we yeah, expect that to happen so yeah and now what this Chromebook supports well well first of all let's go into the about section as you can see it's running Chrome OS 94.0 build 4606.104 so yeah now let's go to the graphics by going to Chrome GPU as you can see it is the Intel UHD graphics 600 I think it's like I think it's a one or two gigs I think I'm not sure, but yeah, but that's the graphics, the Intel UHD Graphics 600. Now let's go over what we got with this machine. Well, this is the well the district anyway, because that's pretty much what we got for the district. Let's go ahead and run. Well, let's run the camera amp first of all. Now, here's me, hello, finally. 
Uh, the quality is kind of better than before on the Acer Chromebook. Let's go over to the other camera. You can see it's facing up and I do not like that. Unless now it's a two-in-one. So to demonstrate it's a two-in-one, let me go and close it. What you do is you fold it back like this and then flip it over and bam that is that is, that you can tell this is a two-in-one and it is a touch screen so let's demonstrate another app let's demonstrate if the camera will focus go to the explore app it's self-explanatory so yeah now let's go into the now now this Chromebook believe it or not supports Google Play which so you can run the Google Play Store so yeah, let's go ahead and open up the Google Play Store. As you can see, let's go ahead and close it. We also got the Audible app that, of course, the district installs. As you can see, we got Audible and. Well, this is portrait mode. Let's go and close the app. And that was pretty much it for what we got with the Chromebook. Let's go ahead and set it back to laptop. If I can do this one handed. There you go. So that's pretty much it for what we got with the software side of things. Let's go ahead and close the Chrome app. So yeah, well let's get to the conclusion. So in conclusion, is it worth it? Yes, because of course uh, it is pretty much the latest Chromebook you would expect. Running 8 gigs of RAM and a 32 gig SSD, so there's plenty you can do with it. There's plenty of things you can do with it, though. It, it, it is an enterprise system, so that's why it has it. Well, that's why it has enrollment already set, and the asset tag is on the bottom. That, of course, I covered for several reasons. So. To make this worth it, well, uh, you can run uh, pretty much any Google Play Store app that you would expect from an Android, well, Android phone or tablet. Of course, uh, it can also be used as a tablet. Also, to demonstrate this, I can also do it in tablet mode. So, yeah. It can also be used as a tablet, though I would not do that. So let's go ahead and set it back to laptop mode again. So yeah, so to be honest, uh, it is worth uh, mentioning that the Chromebook, this Dell Chromebook right here, can run the latest software so yeah and it is worth mentioning that this Chromebook is well it's pretty much supported for now as usual and I kinda like the way they have two charging ports via USB type C connections so yeah 
Well, duh. So, I'm pretty sure that these two-in-one Chromebooks can't support Google Play. And, of course, there's a spider right there. So, I could say that if you ever want to buy this, uh, go for it. Though it's going to cost you like somewhere around $300 to buy this Chromebook. So, yeah. Well, that's pretty much it for the review of the Dell Chromebook 3100 2-in-1. So, thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And also follow me on Twitter at RubenAppadisha17. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Ruben the Transit Fan or for transit content, Ruben is, well, the account is Ruben's Transit Up, also on Instagram. So, yeah. And not just, not only I upload bus videos, I also film uh, tech videos like this, also film elevators, what have you. So, yeah. And I also filmed garbage trucks too, like I did last year. So, there you go. Well, that's pretty much it for the review of the Dell Chromebook 11. Well, the Dell Chromebook 3100 2-in-1. So, I'll see you next time.